Welcome to Aries Fitness LLC. Today we're going to be talking about myostatin. Okay, myostatin is a it's a protein compound, TGF beta protein actually, and it's a protein that inhibits other proteins from entering the muscle. It's actually what helps other people. If you see in professional bodybuilders and stuff, like some of them are able to grow so much bigger than other people, even naturally, it's because they have a lower amount of myostatin. It's all genetic, and this this could be another topic or another video is genetics. And basically, it's a in bulls and other types of animals. You see them grow so much stronger than humans. It's because they have such a low amount of myostatin. And they found this in 1997. There's two scientists that actually started researching it and using it on mice, and they found. I'm actually going to post some information about different things they found that actually help fight against myostatin, which I'm going to make these videos short because people want to get right to the point and understand what it is. So, especially ways to block it. So the best way to block it, I would say, is yolks from eggs, believe it or not. Even like two or three egg yolks, it has full statin in it, which actually blocks myostatin and brings it down actually a pretty decent amount. So I always eat eggs every morning, I eat seven, but I put three egg yolks in there. Um, also, Epicatechin is actually in dark chocolate, like full cocoa powder and green tea. Those two together, they found huge amounts, as you can see, I listed it. All the research that I found on that is really tremendous and it helps a lot. And green tea you can actually take before a workout, you know what I mean, as a pre-workout. Uh, also, there are other things like leucine and creatine together have found tremendous amounts. I'll even post a site below about what actually, it will tell you all the science they found about this. And so it will give you a better understanding of myostatin. So definitely try taking some leucine in, 2 to 3 grams. 5 grams of creatine because those two together really are effective against fighting myostatin because you want to bring it's a it's a protein that you want to bring down you don't want to have myostatin all right it, it basically blocks out protein so why would you want something that blocks protein as much as it does so if you that's why if you're genetically gifted and you're growing muscle like crazy it's probably because you have lower myostatin levels that other people don't and they found this over the years. Some young kids that are tremendously growing muscle growth and that are really built at a young age, they have low myostatin levels when they tested. So definitely check out the website. Um, and I hope this helps under you understand a little bit about, about myostatin because a lot of people don't even know what it is. So that's why I, I wanted to get this out there and let people see the difference with the bodybuilders and why they're so big. Even when they take steroids, I mean, you still it's hard to get that big. All right, it takes a lot of work to look like that, even with on steroids. So you had to be genetically gifted too. But raising your testosterone also helps block out some myostatin too, as they found. Like the higher testosterone goes, the lower your myostatin gets which is pretty interesting. Um, I guess things all work in the body a certain way. So definitely raising testosterone is always a good thing. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped. Definitely check out the link below to understand more about it and all the science they discovered. And train like a god of war.